Demisodagake, a little fractious in the starting stalls, settles now, racing. Dubai World Cup number 28 is underway. Military law fast away with Dura Eridae working across Laurel River from deeper out, along with Newgate into the first three or four, followed by Defunded. Dermasodagake checked narrowly there. Kabir Khan shoots up the inside. Saloons through to a nice spot on the inner. That's your first division. A gap of four lengths back sees Senor Buscador working alongside Krupi. Then came Clapton and the Japanese pair of Wilson Tesoro and Ushpa Tesoro are second last and last. So inside the 1500 metres, they go here in the Dubai World Cup and it is Laurel River from gate number 12 who has taken over to go to the lead leading out onto the back section of the course by three quarters of a length, defunded second a gap of three lengths to military law from Dura Eridae, then came Newgate three deep, punching the breeze at the moment but seems to be travelling well, a length and a half to Kabir Khan working alongside Derma Sotagake, it would be five lengths to Krupi who's on the running rail in the centre of horses was Clapton, three deep Senor Buscador with Wilson Tesoro and Ushpa Tesoro is seeing them all here with about a thousand meters left to go so they're about to approach the back turn Laurel River has had it pretty easy up in front hasn't had to work too hard but defunded and Laurel River clear away from the rest they lead a half a dozen lengths Dura Eriday into third Kabir Khan sneaks up hasn't gone around the horse so far Newgate pressed the issue out wider Frankie Dettori asking the Bob Baffert runner to uh, lift here in the late stages Senor Buscador was next followed there by Derma Sotagake already under a ride from Wilson Tesoro Krupi Ushpa Tesoro Soro third to last from Clapton. Military Law drops out of it. Laurel River has given them the slip here. Laurel River puts a big break on them here in the Dubai World Cup. The best part of eight or nine lengths here. And Judmont Farm are close. They are 200 metres away from Dubai World Cup success here. He's got 10 lengths now on Senor Buscador. Kabir Khan drops away. Ushpa Tesoro coming from a long way back. But this is an absolute romp in the Dubai World Cup. Laurel River, Ty Gaucher, take a bow. Starter likes some racing in the Shima Classic. Star on, on Earth was very fast away. Anticipated the start with Rebels Romance, who works across with Liberty Island. Shariar up in the first cr uh, group there as well with Point Lonsdale. Then came Justin Palace from Sim Camila. About two lengths back sees Zajunko, followed there next by Emily Upjohn, who's up on the running rail. August Rodan is third to last from Spirit Dancer and Sisfahan. So out the front they go, past the 2,000 metres, and Rebels Romance in the Royal Blue leads the way. Off the track with Point Lonsdale, up to his inside here in the first couple. Then came Shariar, who's two and a half lengths off the speed. It was a link there to Justin Palace. Head on chest in fourth is shut off nicely. From Stars on Earth, the same. Then came Emily Upjohn. They're not breaking any records here in the Shima Classic. Liberty Island was next, followed there by uh, Simca Mill. Then came Junko, August Rodan, travelling well at the back. On the steel from Spirit Dancer. And the last one is Sisbahan. So they are strung out here as Point Lonsdale and Wayne Lorden now injects a little bit more tempo. Past the 1,400 metres, the margin now three lengths. Rebels Romance races in isolation in second. Third, a similar margin back there to Shariar. Followed there next in turn by Justin Pallas, who's fourth and about half a dozen lengths off the leader. Stars on Earth was next. Emily Upjohn, the rail, continues to travel well from Liberty Island, Sim Camila. Then came Junko from August Rodan, Spirit Dancer, Sisfahan still last and sees them all. Inside the 1,000 metres they go and the tempo has been moderate despite the fact that Point Lonsdale has been left to his own devices. Kick clicks it up now by three lengths. Rebels Romance at a similar margin there still hasn't made any impressions yet on Point Lonsdale. Then came Shariar, followed there by Justin Pallas, who tags up the rest of the field here. The second division with stars on earth, Emily Upjohn. Then came Liberty Island with ten to make up. Followed there by Sim Camila, then came Spirit Dancer as they start to make their way to the top of the straight. August Rodan, a dozen lengths off the leader, and the last one, Sisfahan. Point Lonsdale heads into the straight here. A narrow leader from Rebels Romance who goes up to eyeball him now. Then came Sisfahan. Liberty Island not picking up at the moment. Justin Palace. Then came next in running there was Emily Up. John Liberty Island starting to make ground, but Rebels Romance is off and gone here in the Shima Classic. Rebels Romance coming past the 100 metres, and his owner, his owner, Shane. Mohammed, it is going to be Rebels Romance for Godolphin in the Shima Classic. Two and a half on the line, beats home Sharia. Liberty Island third, just over Justin Palace, then back to Cheval. Namur the outside, tries tight. Photo finish, not much in that, a nose either side. Back to Cheval. Starter hits the lever, we are underway. Frosted Dawn caught it well, Pontos pressing up there on the far side also. 
Then came California Spangle in the first few. A diligent Harry and tracking them, Bill Heil. Coming down the centre of the course here, Daniel looking to go back to back here with Casa Creed, sight success. Emirati Anna King Gold, uh, star of mystery not too far away and heading over onto the near side part of the course. Only one, and that is Jasper Crone racing on his lonesome, where it's Pontos at the 700 metres who's out by two lengths. From next in running there was a frosted dawn from California Spangle, who's got the mini sights. Then came next in running was Diligent Harry, who's close enough with Bill Heil, Emirati Anna, Frankie Dottori starting to weave a passage here through on the Philly Star of Mystery. Then came Casa Creed, Jasper Crone over on the near side has got the disadvantage. Next was King Gold, Daniel well back with sight success. It's California Spangle who takes over. The Cantonese bullet hits the front here from Diligent Harry, Star of Mystery in pursuit, along with Bill Heil, but it's California Spangle and Brendan Abdullah, Star of Mystery, is going to have one last crack at him, but it is Hong Kong in the Alquas. Three quarters of a length. Beats home star of mystery. Who was brave? 1,200 metres, they'll fly along here away in the Golden Shaheen and Tuz caught the start well, going up with Don Frankie. Uh, deeper out on the course, Hopkins gets into the first few, Colour Up burns across as well, coming across with Freedom Fighter. K.I. Dory up in that first half dozen with Sibelius. Then came Igniter, a length and a half back to Bold Journey, working alongside uh, Run Classic there in that early part of the race. Uh, behind them, Nakatomi from Muhib, remake, and Leading Spirit is the last one. So inside the 750 metres they go, Don Frankie puts it to Tuz. Colour Up also applying some pressure. They're flying along here, three deep at the moment, providing Hopkins a little bit of cover along with Freedom Fighter. Sibelius is already starting to be felt for here. Ignite to the inside, then came K.I. Dory, Bold Journey, Run Classic Remake. Nakatomi third to last from Muhib and Leading Spirit. Into the into the lane they come in the Golden Shaheen. And up in front, taking over the running here now was Don Frankie. Puts up three quarts of a length here on Tours, who's game to fight back. They draw away now from Colour Up. Igniter coming from the back in the field, Leading Spirit up the running rail, but look at Tours. Tours in the final 200 metres has burned away from them. What a win. Tours for the locals goes on to win by five lengths. A magnificent performance in the Golden Shaheen.